All right, so overall concept of finding the shaded region was basically there is a polygon inside, inscribed a circle. So all we have to do is find the area of a circle and take away the polygon and divide whatever section that remains for that little portion. Did that make sense? <laughs> so in this case, again, we have a circle. So you found the area of a circle, right? Pi r squared. We need a radius. What's given to us as 9? So that's pi times 9 squared. So area equals 81 pi. That's the area of a circle. And let's make that into a real number because we're going to have to subtract whatever the polygon is and divide it by or multiply by 2 thirds. We don't want 3 thirds of the corners. We just want 2 thirds. Okay, so 3.14 times 81 equals 254.34, 254.34 units squared. That's the area of a circle now, okay? That's the circle, the entire circle. Now we have to find the area of this, what appears to be an equilateral triangle, because this is 20. That means this is 20. That means this is 20. So since this is a 20, 20, 20, we could find the area by separating this. That means if I just take half of that equilateral triangle, it becomes a right triangle with the hypotenuse of 20. Then the base is not 20 anymore, it's half, so it's 10. So what we're missing over here is, you could call it either A or the B of a Pythagorean theorem. Yeah! So A squared plus B squared equals C squared will help us find the B, which will be the height. So A squared, let's say that's 10. It really does not matter whether it's A or B, as long as it's just one of the legs. Plus the B squared equals a C squared, which is 20 squared. So that's 100 plus B squared equals 400. Subtract 100 from both sides of the equation. So b squared equals 300. All right. So now let's go and simplify this because we have to square root both sides of the equation. So when we do, square root of b squared is simply a b. But now we have to do some prime factorization to simplify the 300. Well, the 300, let's see, 300. Does 4 go in there? 4 times 7 is 28, and 4 times 5 is our remaining 20. Okay, so that's a perfect square. We want that. And what's another number that goes into 75? That is a perfect square. How about 25 times 3? All right, so square root of 300 is like saying square root of 4 times 25 times 3 multiplied together. And the reason why I want to do that is because square root of 4, 2 comes out. Whee! I'm free. Square root of 25 is a 5. Whee! I'm free. And whatever the numbers come out, they multiply. The 3 is stuck. It's not a perfect square. It's a prime number. So that's 10 square root of 3. So that's the simplified version. And that B happens to be also the height of that triangle. So now let's go back and find the area of that equilateral triangle because now that height or the altitude is 10 square root of 3 and the base is 20. And the area of a triangle is 1 half base times height. So therefore it's 1 half times base which is 20 times the height which is 10 square root of 3. Half of 20 is 10. 10 times the coefficient 10 is 100, square root of 3. And now I'm going to have to evaluate this because we have to subtract the equilateral from the whole circle, which was in real form 254.34 units squared. So we need to convert that. So that's approximately, well, let's see, I, I, this little cheap calculator does have a square root function. 3 square root is that nasty number times. 100, the coefficient, gives me, I'll have to round this up, 
Let's round it up to our nearest two decimal places. Two, zero, five. So that's going to be two, one unit square. Okay? And that's the equilateral triangle. That's this inside. So let's subtract these two, the circle and the equilateral. My calculator, if I go in reverse, well, actually, let's not do that. Let's just take the estimated form, 254.34. Turn it on first. <laughs> 254.34 minus 173.21 equals the difference, area remaining, of the three sections is 81.13. But that's three sections. I don't want all three. I only want two of those three. So we multiply this by two-thirds. I only want two-thirds of that whole remaining sections. So let's see. Let's multiply that by two and then divide it by three because this is not a scientific calculator. So times two equals 162.26, now divided by three sections. And the two-thirds of it comes out to be 54 point approximately 09 unit squared. That is the final area of these two shaded region. Did you get all that? All right. Good luck.